Okay, today we're going to be working on printing from the command line. Uh, this is a feature that has a lot of options. I'm just going to go over some basic options for it. Uh, the command is called LP. Now, first off, I'm going to list out the files I have in the directory here. I have two text files and a PNG file. First, let's look at our text file. I'll look at the one called file.txt. And it's got some random text I put in there to use in tutorials. It's uh, six or seven lines here. And if I just type LP and the name of that file, which is file.txt, and hit enter, it will print that text file to whatever my default printer is. In this case, my HP uh, PhotoSmart C5500. Uh, so let me grab that print. And here it is. It printed out the text from that file, just as it would if you printed a text file from a text editor. So that's simple enough. Let's quickly look at images. If I display the image that I have in here called tux.png, you can see it's a very small, low resolution image of tux. And once again, to print that out, I just say LP and the name of the file, and it will print to my default printer, uh, which once again is my HP printer. Let me grab this here. Now by default, since this is a low resolution image, it's going to print pretty small on the paper, and by default images are centered. So now let's say I wanted to change the size of this image. Well, there is an option. If we go LP-O, and then we go scaling equals, and we give it a percentage. Now, I made a mistake the first time I was playing with this, and I thought it was the percentage of the image. So if the image printed this size, I thought if I typed 200, that it would double the size of that image. Well, that's not right. It's actually the percentage of the page. So I stopped it, but I'll show you what it does. If you were to say 200, which would be two pages, so it would print two by twos, it will start to print the image really large. And if it was 200%, it would print up four prints, which I stopped it, but it would print on four papers that you can put together. So if you wanted to make a poster, that would be a good option. Just think of how many pages across you want. So if you want three pages across and three pages down, do 300%. If you want two across, two down, do 200%. But really, I just want to print up a tux a little bit larger than this tux here. So let me just look at the paper and I'll say I want to print one that's 25% of the page. Once again, giving it the file name, I'll hit enter and it will print up that image at 25% of the page. Now you can also do the same thing with text files. I'll show you in a moment after this image prints. And let me get the original here. So there is Tux at his standard resolution. And here he is at 25% of the page. Next we'll do, um, where are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do scaling of text files. So basically the same thing. Uh, let's put this to, we'll say 50%. And we'll say file.txt. So it will print that text file again, which originally printed like this. Now, since we're giving it the scaling option, uh, I guess by default, and I don't play with this application too much, it's going to treat it as an image. And it kind of centered it on the page. Now, you're looking at this and you're saying this isn't 50% of the page. If it was 50% of the page, it'd be like this big, right? Uh, I believe that's because it's looking at this as if it was a page itself. So if I had a full page of text and I printed it normal, it would fill up this entire page. And since we're printing, which would be 100%, which would be this here. So when we say 50% in case of the text, it really is 50% of what it was. Because although the image can be a different resolution, the text will always be a standard size. I hope I'm explaining that well. But think of it that way that when you're talking about text, say 50%, it's going to print it at 50% the size the text was because the text... 100% size of the text is 100% size of the page. Once again, I hope I'm explaining that well. Uh, another thing you can do is you can say LP-O and say scaling. And instead of giving it a percentage, um, what you can do, let me check my notes here real quick. Actually, that's completely wrong. Ignore that. Instead of scaling, you're going to say fit-to-page and then the name of your file, and I'll say uh, my tux image again. And I'm not going to print that because I hate wasting ink, and I've done a lot of little sample prints here. But if I can find it, 
you will see somewhere in here. Here we go. It's at the very bottom of the stack. It will print your image or text file, which by default would be 100%, to 100% of the page. It will fill it up on the page as best it can. So if you want your image or text file to be the exact size of the page, regardless of resolution, just do ignore that. Shouldn't be fur to page. Fit to page. Um, and it will fit to page. And the reason this looks all pixelated is just because it is such a low resolution image to start off with. Um, you can also adjust where it is printed on the page. I am not going to get into that in this tutorial. Just wanted to show you the basics. So that is printing from the command line. Once again, the LP command. Uh, you can also, it also has options that I haven't played with to printing to remote printers. Uh, and you, if they're password protected, you can input the password and stuff like that. Uh, I may or may not get into that in the future, but check the man page. So if you need to figure out how to do that, just say man, LP, and you can see all the options here explained out. Um, Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Visit us on Facebook. There's a link in the description. I post extra stuff there. Uh, you can also, if you like my videos, give us a like there. Uh, and I just hope that uh, you have a great day. Thanks again, once again, for watching.